Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sister Wives News. It's no secret that Sister Wives star Cody Brown has a tumultuous relationship with his children. Garrison Brown was at odds with Cody before his tragic death. And on screen, fans have seen his rift with Gabriel and Maddie grow over time. A TikToker reportedly caught Cody in public with a few of his children out in public. Surprisingly enough, the children he shares with Robin Brown were nowhere in sight. Is this a sign that Cody is trying to mend fences with the children he shares with Christine, Mary, and Janelle? A Sister Wives fan catches Cody Brown on camera. In the early days of Sister Wives, Cody Brown regularly went on outings with his children. However, those trips aren't at all common in 2024. Bad blood and broken relationships really drove everyone apart. Cody citing in Utah, one Redditor titled their post. These are screenshots from a TikTok that was posted two hours ago. Cody was spotted at a Barnes & Noble in Utah today with Truly, Isabel, and Tony Padron. Interesting combo of people. There seems to be some discrepancy over whether or not the TikTok was recent. As many Redditors point out, the Browns are dressed for cold weather, and it's been around 80 degrees in Utah lately. Regardless, many felt pleasantly surprised to see that he was spending time with more of his children. Some did suggest that he felt pressured to include Christine's children after she filed a lawsuit against him. Comments included, I'm genuinely glad to see he's hanging out with some of his kids. I had wondered why Truly wasn't included in the Sedona stargazing. But maybe Cody was spending those days with her and Isabel. Well, Christine did file for child support, so he will no doubt want to magically spend lots of time with her now in true narc style. I really do hope the best for his relationships with the kids. I think sometimes people have moved on from the fact that he also lost a child. Whether he was in a good spot with him or not, he still lost a child. The pain must be staggering for the entire family. Maybe he is making more of an effort to connect after Garrison. It's good to see, let's hope he's doing it with all his adult children. Maddie Brownbrush continues to keep her father at arm's length. This season on Sister Wives, fans caught a glimpse into Cody's escalating feud with Maddie. He claimed she cut him off because he was tired of her fishing for gossip with him. However, Janelle says Maddie and several of her other children have strained relationships with Cody because he cut contact with them. It's largely a he said, she said situation, but most fans believe the wives and children over Cody. Do you think Cody and the children had fun on their Barnes and Noble outing? Leave your own thoughts in the comments. Follow TV shows Ace Online to keep up with the latest Sister Wives coverage. Catch new episodes of Season 19 at 10 p.m. Eastern Time each Sunday night on TLC. 1. Introduction, around 250 to 300 words. Greet your audience and remind them of your channel's focus. Briefly recap recent issues between Cody Brown and his children. Introduce the story about Cody's recent public outing and set up the main question. Is Cody trying to reconnect with his children from previous marriages? Example. Hello everyone, welcome back to Sister Wives News. Today we have some surprising new developments regarding Cody Brown's relationship with his children. For years, fans of Sister Wives have witnessed Cody's tumultuous relationships with his children from his marriages to Christine, Mary, and Janelle. But could he be trying to mend fences after all this time? Well, a recent TikTok video may hold some clues, and we'll be diving into that today. 2. Cody's strained relationships, 700 to 800 words. Talk about the history of Cody's relationships with his kids. Mention Garrison, Gabriel, and Maddie's falling out with Cody, highlighting key moments from the show and fan reactions. Discuss how the lawsuit filed by Christine may be impacting his current relationship with their children. 3. TikTok and Reddit reactions, 600 to 700 words. Share details of the TikTok sighting, 
describing the public outing with Truly, Isabel, and Tony Padron. Discuss the discrepancies mentioned by Redditors regarding the weather and whether the sighting was recent. Use direct quotes from Reddit comments to add community perspective and stir up conversation among your viewers. 4. Speculation. Is Cody reconnecting? 600 to 700 words. Analyze whether Cody's outing with the kids is genuine or if it's related to Christine's legal actions. Incorporate Reddit users' comments about the child support lawsuit and whether this could be influencing Cody's actions. Weave in commentary from the fans who believe this is a positive step for Cody, contrasting with those who are more skeptical. 5. Focus on Maddie's distance, 800 to 900 words. Dive deeper into Maddie Brownbrush's strained relationship with Cody, using clips from the current Sister Wives season to back up your points. Discuss Janelle's perspective, where she claims Cody cut off contact, and highlight key quotes from the show. Offer your own commentary or speculation about why Maddie has chosen to keep her distance from her father. 6. Garrison Brown's Death and Family Dynamics 700 to 800 words. Touch on the tragic loss of Garrison Brown and how it might be affecting Cody's relationships with his other children. Discuss the emotional toll on the family and how some fans speculate this event may have triggered a change in Cody's behavior. Include a few fan theories about how Garrison's death could be a turning point for Cody and his fractured family ties. 7. Conclusion and Viewer Engagement 300 to 400 words. Wrap up by summarizing key points about Cody's current standing with his children. Ask viewers for their own thoughts and opinions in the comments. Promote interaction by asking, do you think Cody is genuinely trying to reconnect or is this all about legal pressure? Let me know what you think down below. And with a reminder to subscribe and catch new Sister Wives episodes for more drama and updates. Example. That's all for today, folks. What do you think? Is Cody really trying to mend fences with his kids? Or is this just a legal move after Christine's lawsuit? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to Sister Wives News for all the latest updates. And be sure to catch new episodes of Sister Wives every Sunday on TLC. 8. Call to Action and Outro, 200 to 300 words. Thank your viewers for watching. Encourage them to subscribe, hit the like button, and share the video. Mention that you'll be covering more updates about Sister Wives and encourage them to follow you on other platforms. Additional tips for 5,000 words, visuals, and clips. Add voiceovers for clips or screenshots from the TikTok and Reddit threads. This will help give your audience more context and visual engagement. Viewer interaction. Leave pauses for comments and questions. This boosts engagement and gets viewers to stick around for the full video. Speculative commentary. Invite the audience to consider different angles and speculations. This keeps the discussion lively and encourages more comments. Use quotes. Integrate more quotes from Reddit in fan discussions to fill out the word count, providing authentic opinions that fans care about. Would you like help refining specific sections or finding more details about certain events?